Hi everyone, it's me, Lauren Quinn. As you can tell by the title, I am doing a Halloween makeup tutorial. This one is for a half skull look. I was request requested to do this by one of my clients, so you know what? Good idea. I'm gonna do it. So what I already did, I already covered my brows with the glue stick method. Um, I'll put a link to that video right here so you guys can check that out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be taking, first I'm going to take some concealer. Gotta grab another sponge. There we go. Just going to take that sponge, just swirl it in the concealer. And then just stamp that onto there. I don't have really dark brows, thankfully. Those who have darker brows, this may or may not work. Well, it will, but you just gotta keep layering. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take a powder. This is a translucent setting powder. Or not translucent, a, one of those setting powders that is, um, that is a corrective powder. I'm only doing that because of the fact that, not because I just, I'm trying to, um, conceal any of the, um, darkness in my brow. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to powder it just to create, just to help with that smoothness. And so it looks like that. I know my brow is showing through, um, but that's okay. So, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking, and I'm going to be taking a little, a con bit of concealer. This is Orme Cosmetics, um, light concealer. Any concealer will be good. Just covering a few blemishes. This stuff is amazing when it comes to covering blemishes. I love it. Out of all the concealers I've used, this is the best. As long as you just dab it. It's an amazing concealer. I love it. It's my favorite concealer of all time. There is no concealer better than this for blemishes. I have not found one. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a primer. This is by Femme Couture. I hate to put to put foundation on or anything like that on my skin. But I'll be washing it off anyways after, so... Now I have to look at a picture of a skull. Okay. And now I have that stuff on. Now let's get started with the foundation, the part I dislike. Um, only because I don't like putting foundation on my skin. For some reason it just doesn't work with my skin. But. Oh well, and this is the lightest concealer I have. I might be out of this one. I might have to grab and open another one. Yep. There we go. You could use grease paint. It doesn't matter really what you use as long as the concealer is, or concealer, the um, foundation is really, really light. So you can mix it with a white. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white face powder. I'm just going to
going to take any object and just scrape a bit of that powder out of there. Just scrape the surface a bit. And then take a brush, a stippling brush. stipple that onto my face. Now this is just going to create the base. It's not going to do anything really. It's just going to create a base. That's another trick. If you're doing a vampire look, you can use um, a powder, mix it with a foundation, and you're good to go. I know my skin is not gonna, it's not gonna like me, but, oh well, it's for you guys. take my sponge and just dab that over my skin has not worn foundation in ages so And so I don't worry too much about how smooth my skin looks. Um, because I don't wear foundation. And so, looks like that. One side looks lighter than the other. That's the point. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my face powder take any kind of brush really load that that brush up and just dampen and not dampen but stamp your face so you get that early deathly pale look this would be, like I said, this would be great if you were going for a vampire look. Like the old school Count Dracula. But, that's not the look I'm going for right now. Now, just to let you know, my camera might adjust a bit because of the white balance. With this stuff, you can't ever put too much on. And I got this stuff at um, the Spirit Halloween store. So, there you go. If you want to go in, out and get some, go to the Spirit Halloween store. They have everything. Like... Literally, they have everything. Quite seriously. I'm not even kidding. Oops, I already have it all open. And now I'm just going to take that powder, put it over my lips. Go like this. Because it'll help you get right into the crevices. And 
now that we look like um, a ghost or a powdery mess, I'm going to take, and I'm going to take a white eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the outline for the eyes, the nose, cheekbones, and the teeth. And don't worry that you're using a white, because it's still, you'll still see it. And with a skull, the, um, you can make your eyes as big as you want them to be. I'm going to do it so that way it goes above, even though it actually stops right around here. I want mine to be a little bit, actually, no. That's the reason why I say to use a white. Because you might be like, mmm, no, I don't want that. See? And you can just erase it, and then just put more powder. I'm going to put it right there. That looks about good. And that's the thing, if you are going to follow your eye socket, then just feel your eye, and you'll see that little indentation. And then right here, And you feel, right here, there's a little indentation. Right there. Right around here, there's an indentation. And then you would draw the teeth in. I'm going to do that after. Uh. And there you have the outline done. You guys probably can't even see it, but... You'll see it once I get started. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take... I'm going to start filling in all of this. I'm just going over it. Just very messily. Tracing it and going over messily. The teeth are going to be the hardest part. So what you want to do, is you see your teeth that you have right here? Open your mouth and kind of just draw where your teeth would be. And connect to those.
The bomb teeth are smaller. So you can fit more in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, where is that grease paint? Here it is. I'm going to be taking grease paint. Any kind of power, any kind of face um, stuff is going to be good. Actually, I'll wipe off this. I'm gonna take that that um black stuff, the grease paint. I'm just gonna go over this. Ever so slightly. And then I'll start to fill it in more. Okay. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to take another brush and I'm just going to trace. That brush is useless. I'll use a um, brow filler brush. There we go. This is also good if you want to be the skull gaga. You just do the same stuff on this side. This one I'm going to take up just a tad bit more. And you can drag it out a bit. Now the thing with this kind of look is it might take you a little while to actually get it to where you want it. It's all about practicing and my computer's screensaver keeps going on.
be fun to wash off. Those of you who leave comments on other channels saying, Oh, that must, must be fun to wash off. You're correct. It's it's very fun. And because you have a bone that juts out right here, you don't want to touch that area. And now for the teeth. I love these kind of looks because they're just, it's totally you, it's totally your own. You could set that and keep it up like that, but I want something a little more realistic. So what 